Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna discuss how to make a viral video. Now for those of you guys that don't know me, I have made viral videos on every single social media platform except for this one. If anyone knows how to figure this YouTube thing out, let me know. Every other platform, I got you. Let's get into it. For the purposes of this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about how to create a viral video in the short form content version. You can obviously create viral long form videos, but short form is actually where the money is at. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the money side of it later, but it is crazy. I've had months where I've made over 40 grand literally just from uploading videos. That's it, just short form content. So I wanna dive into how to actually create viral videos so that you can get recognition. And <laughs> sorry about that guys. Okay, let's dive into it. Short form content is probably one of the easiest styles of content to create and it's the highest paying <laughs> why am i sneezing it is the easiest form of content to create there's secrets to it that if you know them it's gonna be really really easy for you to not only create content but create viral content let's talk about tiktok first and then i'm gonna dive into kind of the spinoff for instagram because i think tiktok is the easiest platform to go viral on so i want to start easy you know maybe you're a first timer here you don't know me you don't know how to do social media very well. This formula that I'm about to show you, if you follow it, your video will go viral. Maybe maybe give it a week of doing this strategy, but I promise you, I've had multiple students and multiple clients. This formula is proven. It works so do it and don't deviate here we go open up the TikTok app if you haven't taken the time to sit down and think about what type of creator you are you're already losing you're already doing everything wrong and i'm sorry to say it so bluntly but if you're just like driving in the car one day and you're like i'm just gonna upload a video of me lip syncing lyrics and put text on it okay it might go viral if you hit it at the right time with the right niche, but you're not building an audience for your content. What I want you to do before you do anything is sit down and think, am I creating funny lifestyle content? Am I creating emotional, motivational content? What emotion do you wanna make people feel? So number one is the emotion. When people watch your content, what emotion do you want them to have? Do you want them to laugh? Do you want them to relate? Do you want them to feel inspired? And the second thing you need to think about is what's your niche? For me, I like making people laugh and I'm in the gaming category. So I also have a secondary category of lifestyle and I highly suggest that you guys pick a secondary category because it is just the worst when you dive into one niche and then you can't do anything outside of that niche. So pick what you want people to do. I want people to laugh when they watch my content. The second thing is gaming. That's my, my number one. I'm a gamer. It's ironic that I'm wearing this. I didn't even mean to do this actually. Second category that I have is lifestyle. So once you have those three things, thumbs up, you're doing great, okay? Now, open up the TikTok app because you have a niche. So your number one niche, not your number two, not your second niche, but your number one niche. I want you to open up the TikTok app and go ahead and click on the search bar. On the search bar, you're gonna have suggestions right here. It, it says, you may like. And these are good suggestions for stuff that is trending, but if it doesn't have to do with your niche, it's gonna be really difficult for you to implement those. Remember, having a purpose for the content that you're creating is very important. What emotion do you want people to feel and what category are you in? What I'm gonna search is gaming. Before you click enter, pay very, very close attention because the app is going to generate automatic responses for you. All of these, are things that other people are searching for. So gaming, gaming for her, gaming setup, gaming funny moments. That's great for me because I want to make people laugh. I'm gonna click on funny gaming moments. Now, you have a list of videos here. What I want you to do before you do anything else is scroll down and you see others searched for. This is literally your holy grail. Other people are searching for these terms. So what you're gonna do is screenshot them. And we're gonna save that for later. Screenshot those, scroll down a little bit more. You see another section of what people are searching for. Screenshot that as well. And one more time, scroll down a little bit further. Screenshot that as well. Now, another thing that you're gonna do, and this is before, look, look at how much work goes into this. This is before you ever create a video. This is how much research we're doing to get a viral video. Now, you're gonna click on this little 
three buttons up here and you're gonna click filters and you're gonna filter it by like count for the last three months. You could do six months, I'm gonna do three months. This is gonna show you the top videos from the last three months or six months. You're gonna scroll through this and you're gonna find a video that you think that you can recreate. When I say recreate, I mean, I want you to find a video that you feel like, okay, that's an easy video for me to make. I can actually create that one, but I want you to put your own spin on it. Now it's really important to pay attention. Let's just say this, this funny gaming video, I just clicked on a random one. Let's say this is the one that I want to recreate. It's so, so important. You make sure you're framing the text on the screen, the sound that's linked, all of those things have to be consistent even if you're recreating a video. The reason why is because if that hook worked for one person, it can work for you. Let's just say that the hook is, this was my craziest gaming moment in 2023. If that was the hook that the person used, use the same hook because it worked. And if for some reason in this video, their face cam forward with text on the screen, use the same hook, it worked for them, there's no reason it can't work for you. People do this all the time in every single business. So do not feel bad. Do not feel like you're stealing something from someone else. Literally, how do you think businesses create their signs? They see a sign that they, how do you think logos get created? They see a logo that they like, they're like, oh, I really like that, but I wanna make that one, but add this and this and this and like put my, my business name. It's fine, it happens all the time. Don't even stress about it. The only time you need to worry is when you copy a video exactly the whole video, then you need to credit the person that created the video, okay? We'll dive into that later. So let's just say you have now chosen the video that you want to recreate. What you're gonna do, go create that video. You've got all of the screenshots, you know what's going on on the app, you know what you wanna do, make sure that you copy the format of the video exactly, make it your own, give it lots of energy, go create the video, and then come back, press pause, Go create, now come back after. I'll give you some time. Okay, are you done creating? All right, welcome back. Okay, so now that you're in the app, you've created your viral piece of content and remember, it's a viral piece of content because you specifically chose a video that went viral and you're recreating it for your own page. That's viral content, so we know that this video that you have in your hands, if you did it right, has the potential to go viral. Now, how do we actually make it go viral? How do we push it to the point to where it's gonna go viral, even though it's slightly different from the original? That's where I come in. What you're gonna do, make sure that you put a title on the front. Even if the video that went viral previously didn't have a title on the front, I still think it's smart to add one. So what you can do is think about the topic of this video. Make it something that's shocking and intriguing. For instance, I'm just gonna use something crazy. Like I made $10,000 in one day from uploading this. That's pretty intriguing. A great example of a gaming shocking hook is Nadia. She uploaded a hook that said, I'm the best female Warzone player and here's why. And then she went into her gameplay, which was absolutely phenomenal and everyone went crazy over it. So think of something that's intriguing and shocking, an element of this video that will pull people in and grab their attention. Then you're gonna put that not too far up the top of the screen because you wanna make sure that when it uploads, it doesn't get covered by the black bar that iPhones have. What I want you to do after that is go in and add all of the key terms that you screenshot it. Now what you're gonna do is go back and forth from the app. Hilarious gaming videos. If this video was about a hilarious gaming moment, funny dark humor gaming moments, you could even make that the title. Just be like, darkest humor gaming moment ever seen. Shocked face. That's a really great hook. Darkest gaming humor moment ever seen. And you're using the, the key term, darkest gaming moment, which is great because people are already searching for that. So what you're gonna do is add all of these terms. So dark humor, jokes, funny gaming memes. And then you're just gonna go through the list and add gaming, gaming moments. Let's just pretend like these terms are on the list. Then you're gonna make it the tiniest font that you can possibly find in like a color that's not easily seen. And then you're going to shrink the text, oops, shrink it all the way down as small as it'll go and slide it off of the screen, but not too far. So all you see is the last letter so that you know that it's there. Then you're gonna go 
next and you're gonna make your caption a question to entice people to answer so the question might be how dark was this one on a scale of one to ten question mark and then like make it interesting with the emojis make it like the evil emoji how dark was this one on a scale of one to ten and then underneath that you're gonna add the hashtags dark humor gaming dark humor jokes and then underneath that you're gonna put a little thing that says terms and you're gonna try and add as many of these terms as you possibly can but you have to be careful that they're relevant if you're adding hilarious gaming moment dark humor moment like dark humor jokes dark humor gaming that's fine but then if you start adding in like hashtag iconic gaming clip like stuff like that it's, you just want to make sure that it's all very cohesive if you're like dark humor moment hashtag call of duty hashtag gaming setup it's not all of those things right like you want to be very very niche specific on these terms that people are searching for but just make sure it's not like a crazy amount of terms now your seo is done so basically what this does is it categorizes your video which means it's gonna place your video in front of people who also enjoy dark humor which is really 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 powerful because just so you guys know TikTok works in a very specific way. What it does is it takes your video and it sends it out to a sample size of around 250 people. Now, a lot of people, they get stuck around 200 viewers. You wanna know why? It's because that's the sample size. If you're not getting more than 200 views per video, that means that the people that watched your video didn't like it they didn't engage with it and a lot of people will sit there and say oh it's the algorithm i should have gotten more views my video was good have you had a second to stop and think about one maybe your video wasn't that good and two maybe your video isn't getting in front of the right people who actually enjoy your style of video one of those two problems or both is happening and we've just solved both of those problems because now not only have you created a video that's already gone viral that people already like but you've also placed it into a category of people who are going to enjoy that style of content. So now what's gonna happen when you post this video, it's going to go into the category of dark humor or dark humor jokes or whatever category that you've placed it in. And what's gonna happen is the people that are searching for those types of things, the people that enjoy those types of things, that's gonna be your sample size now. So your 200 viewer sample size is going to be people that probably enjoy your content. Try this strategy and when it works, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. That's how to make a viral video on TikTok. If you wanna go viral on Instagram, it's okay to use the exact same content that you used on TikTok, but you need to make sure that one, you change the sound of the video, two, you add a completely different set of hashtags that are trending on Instagram versus trending on TikTok, three, you need to categorize your video. On the back ends of the Reels upload, there's a little button that says category and you need to make sure that you choose a category that actually fits into the niche of your video. And something else that really, really helps on Instagram is when you have text on the screen from your TikTok video, make sure that you remove that text or put the new Instagram text over the top of it so that Instagram recognizes it as a native text to its app which actually favors the video in general. I want to do a more deep dive on Instagram virality, but I'm running out of time. So let me know if you guys want me to upload a video that dives into Instagram specifically and how to go viral on there. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.